Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Oxyodl going up against Nurgle, where they've got an absolute doom stack and it's only turn 12. I believe this happens if you activate a particular mission of the old ones um, quite early, and um, yeah, this is the army that you've got to deal with. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping here. I um, hope you guys are enjoying Immortal Empire so far. Uh, do feel free to send me disaster battles, but if you are going to send me a disaster battle at the moment, please label it. Um, in the title that it is Immortal Empires or Warhammer 2 or Realms of Chaos. Okay, just make sure you title it because that way I know where to actually put the save file in, on my computer. So if you just send me a save file and it doesn't have any details on it, I don't know where to put it, I'm probably not going to prioritize it. Just keep that in mind. I'm also likely to prioritize field battles uh, more over sieges unless it's a particularly interesting siege. If your siege involves just your garrison, there's a very low chance I'm going to cover it, and you're probably just going to have to take the L on that. Because at the end of the day, these disaster battles here are supposed to be entertaining, and siege battles against garrisons are not entertaining at all. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's deal with this here now. I don't think that this is impossible. I think we're definitely going to need to cheese it in some way, and the way to do that is with our uh, stalking. We've got essentially three units here that can't stalk. And we can maybe use that to... We have to waste the ammunition of the Soul Grinders first. And uh, if we can get the Soul Grinders isolated from the pack. And then uh, get these ones here to um, shred them as quickly as possible. That would be good. Anyway, let's just jump in here and see what we can do. Hang on. Let's have a look at these here first. Demon Bane. Right, this... Okay, okay, okay. I'm just seeing of the different ones which one I should give Oxyodl. It's been a long time since I actually played him. None of these really seem that important. Maybe... Hang on, is you magical attacks? Okay, maybe... Maybe it would be better for Oxyodl to have the Demon Bane one. I know that's fire damage, but these guys aren't weak against fire. So... Having magical attack on him, because he does the most amount of damage. That would probably be ideal. And then this one could just go on one of them. Yeah, no point giving it to them, because they've already got fire attack. Okay. Alright, let's see how that goes. I, I don't think that made a huge difference, but it could be the difference between victory and defeat here. You never know. Now, it'd be really good if Oxyodl had Snipe, but it's turn 12. I don't expect you to have all of that stuff sorted. But yeah, Snipe would be very useful here because the AI don't react to it very well. Um, but they do react to being... Um, like, if you're stalking, it's fine, but when you start shooting, they can see you and then they'll charge at you. So this is where we got to get rid of all of the um, Soul Grinders of Nurgle first. We have to get them away from their pack. Now, they're faster than the Bastilodons, but the Bastilodons are faster than the Great Unclean ones. The, um, the Skink Oracle should be about the same speed, I think. I oh, know, he's a little bit faster. Okay, so all of our army here is hidden. That's cool. Just get them out of the way. Just stay out of the way here. Just for now. Yeah, if Oxyodl had... Oh, hang on, hang on, wait, doesn't... Oh, he does have Snipe, right, 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 we can use that at the start, okay. Because we're the attacker here. Yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I played Oxyodl. Okay, we need Snipe. Alright, now the first thing we need to do is... Waste of those, um, Soul Grinder ammo. Now, if we're using Snipe and shooting at them, they... Uh, they'll probably rush at these two, three guys here. So I might actually need to withdraw them from the battlefield. So let's let's firstly get rid of that ammunition. Yeah, because we're the attacker here. Look at that bounce of power. Yeah, absolute friggin' doomstack. You, there's no way you can just charge at this head on and win. No way. Oh, hang on, he's hidden there. Wait. Oh, it's probably just because of the... Oh, okay, there we go. But yeah, as long as we don't do any... Oh, look, this thing here is actually blocking a lot of their shots. As long as we don't do any ranged or magic damage to them, they shouldn't charge at us just yet. I'm just cycling out my dudes because I've got Earthblood on the Skink Oracle. 
These guys are not the best for dodging ammo because they're a bit slow and kind of big. But at the same time, these are anti-infantry shots. Which is why we really want them to use it on this. Now, Oxyodal doesn't have unlimited ammunition. Uh, unless he has his, um, you know, quest item, which he doesn't have. But, yeah, wasting this ammo here has made a big difference so far. Now, the guy said in the email that he just flat out couldn't win this battle. So... I don't think he thought about cheesing it. Well, the thing is, when the game cheeses you, cheese back. You know? Or don't. That's up to you. You can always send it to me. So, got a bit of Winds of Magic. We could use Fireball as well, which... Eh. Fireball... I actually find Fireball is better against infantry because it overkills them, but it kills a bunch of them. Whereas if you shoot into a large target, doing like 500 damage, it's all right, I guess. All right, let's let's bring them back a bit. They're just messing around. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about their magic because this guy here is the only spellcaster that's got a. Uh, so these ones here are bound spells. Wait, hang on. Yeah, they got bound spells. Which could actually be a big problem for the, um... Uh, for these guys here, all those bounce spells. <laughs> Look at the bounce of power already. But yeah, the Soul Grinders of Nurgle, they're devastating against infantry with their ammunition. So we, we gotta waste it. Because there's no way we can get at them and uh, just kill them quickly. This stuff is, uh... Not high damage. Even with Oxyodal. Okay, I think we're done here. Alright, we're done with that. Cool, and we can recover from that at a pretty cheap cost. 12 wins of magic in total. Alright, cool. Now, the reason why I haven't done any damage first is because we want them to just stand still for now. Because uh, this gives us time. We're the attacker, we can take as long as we want. Okay, now the next thing I want to try to do is get these guys here to use up their... Um, their Stream of Corruption spell. They might not cast it. Because usually they'll wait for you to get pinned down before they cast it. But let me just see. Now they're not going to cast it. That's fine. Okay. Now. I would like them to hide over here. Use the terrain. Oh, hang on. we got to... Oh, hang on. Hang on. If we could bring them over one at a time. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> if I could bring them over one at a time. Uh, we'll see. Okay, come over here. Come over here. Okay, they should hide behind the terrain. Apparently not. Alright, come back over here then. Maybe they'll hide behind that. Because if they can't see any of our units, and I start using snipe on them, they shouldn't react to it. Now, um, it would probably be better for Oxyodal to aim for a uh, Soul Grinder, but really I'm just going to aim for whatever I can. But let's line it up so that if he misses his shot, because it's actually not that accurate. Good to hidden. If he misses a shot, that they don't react to it. And this is why I wanted to put magic attack on him. Okay, they're, they're going to react anyway. Okay, keep these guys here out of it. For now. They're coming over here. I might need to withdraw them from the battlefield. Maybe. Especially the Bastildons. The, um, the Skin Coracle can get away. But yeah, while we've got Snipe, they have no idea where... The, okay, they can see it now. They have no idea where the shots are coming from. At least they don't have any heal magic. I'm going to see if I can get up and um, shoot at the soul grinder. I don't want to be shooting them while they're in the forest. I'll just hit trees. Luckily, they're just walking at the moment. So let's start moving around. Obviously, keep these guys out of it. And what we're trying to do here is just thin them out as much as possible. Because the bounce power is still not in our favor. Yeah, it seems to be better against the soul grinders. The soul grinders are definitely better than great unclean ones. they got less ammunition. Uh, less health. But more damage output. Because they're fast. See, we can outrun a great unclean one. 36 speed to our... Yeah, yeah, we can outrun them. That's not a problem. We can't outrun the soul grinders. Damn trees in the way here. 
That's why I didn't put him on fire at will. Alright, let's start using some magic. And we want to be hitting Great Unclean ones with this because um, it doesn't do that much armor piercing and Soul Grinders have a lot of armor. I'll just dodge that. Funny thing, this is kind of lore friendly how to use Oxyodal. <laughs> kind of. This guy here. I don't really want to be shooting at him. He's actually not really high value at all. He's super slow. He's actually the slowest unit in their army. He's, does, he's only rank one. He's just not a priority and he's small. Oxyodal is just really not that accurate. See about doing this. I think he actually did clip it there. Don't okay, get too close. Uh, the um, unspottable doesn't mean they'll stay invisible when you get too close to them. Okay, so so far. Oxyodal has done 2,000 damage. He's got a lot of ammo, but this is not tons. Yeah. But I really don't think these Bastilodons are going to do much here. They've actually, they've actually already done more than they're worth, just because of how much ammunition they wasted. Because that was going to wreck these guys. We're going to have to use them at some point, but the point of this here is to damage them as much as possible before we get to it. And also try to wear them out. See how tired they're getting? Oh wait, no, they're on raid stance, that's why they're tired. This guy here's doing a bit of damage. Yeah, fireball doesn't do much. But you know, none of the other spells are going to be particularly useful here. Right, that's... Okay, we could... Alright, I see what's going on here. We could... Right, let's get these guys over here. They're sending a small portion after just the... Um, the skin coracle, right? If we could lure these ones over here, we could shoot them quite easily. We just don't want to deal with the entire army all at once. And because they're walking, we've actually got a chance to keep these, um, these ones here tied down. So yeah, we'll bring these over here. And try to lure them over here so we can shoot them. I really should have sent them around that way, but it's closed now. I can't go that way. Bouncer power's looking good. Soul grinder about to go down. That's good. Here's another thing as well, is that we don't necessarily even need to kill all of these units, right? We just need to inflict the army losses, and the way to do that is to drop off their bounce of power relative to what they start off with. They've already lost about a third of their bounce of power, just because of all of the, um... Uh, just because all of the ammunition that they wasted with the soul grinders, because it was worth so much. Now, us withdrawing the Feral Bastilodons will be like a point against us, but they're not going to be able to win against this. We can keep running them a little bit, but you know, eventually it's going to catch up with us. Don't worry that much about killing them all. Like, or killing one. Just, um, just to get whatever damage is easy. Shoot the closest one. This one here is about to break. Good. Okay, that soul grinder is dead. Good job, Oxyodal. Okay, they're coming at us faster here. That's kind of good. <laughs> they're being very passive. So, if we have a look at Oxyodal now. Yeah, he's done a good amount of damage. Keep it up. With a Soul Grinder down, without us having taken any damage. That's good. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, you guys are on fire at will. Yep. Okay, get ready. Bring him the fight to you. He 
here we go. Good. Good, that soul grinder got freaking wrecked. Some blood. I don't know about the blood pack. I don't, I don't think it looks as good as what it did in Wyman 2. I don't know about that, but whatever. That's it. That's it. I mean, these guys here are using up a lot of their ammo, but the soul grinders, they're the valuable ones. Well, actually, the both valuable. That's it. That's good. The main thing here is just not to get attacked by the entire army all at once. Good. The distraction that these two here are causing is really beneficial. So yeah, just don't engage with them. Okay, let's bring some of these guys around over here. Alright, with all the soul grinders gone, we don't need to... Well, most of them gone. We don't, we don't need to stay here. We can just run away from um, great unclean ones. Okay, get the chameleon stalkers. Oh, current I'm at the edge of the map. Don't, don't want too close. I'm going to put you on fireball. You can just shoot it whatever you want now. Because this is going pretty well. Bounce bow is even. Ish. Here's the thing. If we run out of ammunition, we're fucked. <laughs> because um, we can't fight these demons in melee. Right, you guys are okay the way. But so far, I think the ammunition is being used pretty efficiently. Okay, stop, 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 these demons are dead, stop. I said stop. I said stop. Okay, don't waste ammunition on disintegrating units. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, the um, Chameleon Stalkers have used up all their ammo, but uh, we still got a fair bit on the Blessed Chameleon Skinks and stuff. Bounce Power's in our favor now. Yeah, you, you get back. Okay, let's set up another trap. Let's set up another trap. Okay, so you guys here, stalkers, get over this way. You guys come over here, and we'll see if we can do some more troops over this way. Oxyodo's about to run out of ammo, but if you have a look at him, he has definitely done his worth, and then some. But it's just that we... We just were so badly outpowered in this battle. This one here. Yep, he's done alright. Let's have a look at them. Okay. Alright, Oxyodo's run out of ammo. Can't really do much with him now. But yeah, if we keep this up, we're going to win. And we might win it without really taking much damage. Which is always beneficial. Still got a lot of magic, but... If we have a look, the spell... It isn't going to do much damage. Like, comparatively. About 500, which... Yeah, it's better than nothing. One... For every one wizard of magic is better. 100 damage, it's not too bad. So yeah, we want them to still keep distracting them. We just want a couple of them to come over this way. Can't really use Oxyodal anymore. Ugh, they do Rampage. Okay, Rough Terrain makes it difficult to shoot these shots. Get them over here. Alright, they're paying way more attention to the um, skin coracle than, than oh. these two over here. They're not stalking, so... That's, they're still spreading out a fair bit, that's fine. Now, with using fireballs, it doesn't do much armor pierce. You want to hit the not-so-armored units. Okay, yeah, they're really not paying that much attention to the uh, Bastildons anymore. But I'm surprised they're not rushing at us. Okay, here we go. Alright. We want to try to distract them as much as possible. Which... 
I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this, this AI is not very good. What are you doing? Okay. Or just, just leave him, just leave him, that's fine. I've still got some ammo left. Yep, that one's definitely done its work. And we've still got quite a few fireballs we can shoot. Back myself into a bit of a corner here, but we should be able to handle what's left. Now we'll need to use the stalkers to um, to soak up the damage. We don't want the uh, chameleon skinks getting into melee here. There's still quite a few soul grinders. Okay, here we go. That one's about to disintegrate. These guys are going to come and assist over here as well. Okay, start moving back. Good, we got disintegrating one. Let's try to move behind their lines over here so they chase after us. So there's just not that much coming over here. Quick, behind these stalkers. Okay, don't be shooting at disintegrating demons. They're, they're gone. Don't waste ammunition on them. Good, we've got a few of them chasing after us. Okay, stop. Maybe just shoot this one over here. Okay, once it's starting to disintegrate, it's very unlikely it's going to um, recover from that. And there we go, there's the army losses. Okay, a bit of damage, but nothing spectacular. Okay, take that off. And there we go. So yeah, the battle's definitely possible, even on, on turn 12. Luckily, it's up against Nurgle. Like, if this was a Cinch army, that was, we'd be doomed. Cinch, Corn, or Slanesh demons of these tier would have been doomed. The only way we could have handled this was because it was Nurgle. Because Nurgle's just so bloody slow. But there you go. A few, few bits of damage. Oh, I probably could have popped in a heal there at the end. You can see how quickly they get damaged there. And that should be worth absolutely shitloads of experience because not only are these all like tier 5 units, but a heroic victory means it's a multiplier on experience. So that's just going to be... Let's see if I, I can guess how many levels up we'll get. I think we'll get 5. 5 levels up. So he's... I didn't see what level he was on. But I think he'll get 5 levels up. But yeah, when going up against a superior enemy like this, like, if we had attacked them head-on, 100% would have lost. 880,000. So, we're level 8. I think we're going to get 6 levels up. And 18,000, sorry. No, we got 7 levels up. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's a bit ridiculous there. Um, and then, what do you want? Do you want some money? Or what do you want? Oh, your replenishment rate's okay, you'll be fine. Go with, got the money. And there we go. So yeah, when playing your Oxyodal campaign, just be careful about those missions of the old ones. Oh, they nerfed that. It used to be 5%. But there we go. Anyway guys, that's the end of this one here. Yep, Oxyodal got himself 7 levels up because of that battle. Um, 
And yeah, I uh, appreciate any of the safe files that you guys send me. And I appreciate you guys. See you next time, fuckers. Bye.